this is something that's new. Uh, we just received uh, this uh, request from the producers for us to play a game, and the game is uh, to debate ideas. So the 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 motion is that um, happiness is more important than success, I believe. And I'm supposed to argue for the fact that not for the fact, argue for the for the motion that happiness is more important than success. And uh, and and uh, Chika Pao will rebut my point. So let's let's try to go for about two to three points. How about that? Oh my god, that, that, wow. That is, yeah, that's totally against like what I believe. <laughs> You're making it really hard. Um, okay, well, what if the audience doesn't know that I have been told that I have to be in this position? Then they'll be confused. All right, this is going to be tough. Okay. So success is more important than happiness. That's that's supposedly my motion given to me. So when we think about a, a person's life, uh, they go through different stages, and uh, you know, to to think about happiness too early, it might be be less productive for a young person uh, to be able to achieve to be the best. So when a person is is young, uh, you know, in their teenage years, and as they start out in their careers, uh, success is more important of a notion for young people to. To, to, to head towards, and then happiness can come later when they've gone through life and gone through their careers and made achievements. You've all heard uh, from Phoebe Tran to say the that um, happiness is not as important as success, and especially for young people. So Phoebe stated that happiness may be less productive for young people. Um, now, the word productive is interesting. So what I would say about that is, what are we producing? And, and so, you know, happiness and then pr productivity and success. So that if a young person were to think too much about happiness in their early stage, it, they are not productive. However, what we're finding is that actually there's a lot of mental health issues around young people. They're having a lot of depression earlier these days, even in Vietnam. And so the pressure to be successful, the pressure to compete with everyone on the same equations of success is actually not leading to a lack of productivity. It's actually causing people to not be productive if they're focusing too much on success earlier. So I would say, you know, um, that notion is, is the opposite that if we don't focus on happiness earlier in life, it then actually becomes uh, not as productive. Okay, um, do I continue then? Um, that's, that's a really good point. <laughs> I need to, this is unplanned. I it's not I need to come up with it. It's not that's, that's, you know, that's a little bit of a, okay. a test, yeah. You're like, oh, that's really good. I would agree with you. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, I agree with everything. You know, now I've got to think about how to disagree. <laughs> IFO audience, so in a real debate, uh, you comp debating competition, you don't get to choose if you agree or disagree because it's around testing your argumentative skills. Okay, and your critical thinking. So whilst I agree that happiness is more important than success, let's just switch it. And let's say that I have to argue that success is more important than happiness. Okay, so this is testing uh, my debating skills. So I would then, um, uh, let's maybe I should just go and argue that point. So the motion is uh, success is more important than happiness. And I definitely agree with this statement, especially when it comes to young people. Why? Because this notion of happiness, many people say that it's a rich developed country notion. For Vietnam and Vietnamese, Vietnamese history, we have only had 30, 40 years, one generation of peace time. And so our parents and our grandparents were really struggling, not even thinking about happiness. They were struggling to think about rice, food and shelter, very basic things. And so 
only one generation of peacetime, maybe we should still focus on the things that we need because there are still many poor people in Vietnam that don't have those basic things. So let's focus on success and success meaning I need more money, I need more um, certainty. So let's put happiness aside. Don't you agree? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, IFO audience, that debating is an art. Debating is an art. And you have to be able to critically use different points whether you agree or disagree. And that's what is about critical thinking. And I learned that through Australian education from first starting um, to debate when I was uh, 14, 13, 14 years old. So that's when I first started doing it. And the school system really encouraged me to, to do that. So you can see, hopefully, that that was um, a little example of what the school education has taught me in terms of my skills and critical thinking skills.